Good. So let's begin our speaking exam. Well, uh, listen carefully and answer my questions. Okay. The first part is, I'm going to ask you some general questions. So firstly, could you tell me your full name, please? My full name is Bakhtjan Masirpai. Good. Does your name have any special meaning? In our native language, it means uh, happy soul. So is your name important to you? Yeah, because I think it's really important because it describes my, uh, my uh, personality because I'm a usually happy person. Mm -hmm. Good. Now let's talk about your personal background and information. Are you a student or do you have a job? I am a student right now. Yeah. I study at Kazakhstan High School. I am 16 years old, and next year I'm go I'm gonna be graduated. Good. What do you like most about your study? Uh, actually, uh, science subjects. I really like it because I really love science, and I enjoy when I have when I have and uh, when I deal with them. And that's why uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue my studies. Good. Thank you very much. Let's turn to our second part. So I'm going to give you a topic which is called um, describe your favorite animal. Mm -hmm. So here are the questions. You have one minute to prepare. Let's talk about. My I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk to talk about my favorite animal. My favorite animal is, is wolf. Uh, bec I admire this uh, this animal because it has powerful build and uh, has a lot of uh, has a lot of has a lot of own advantage speak uh, in our nation uh, in our uh, in our country the world has uh, has a big role in our culture and uh, it is uh, uh, the wolf it's it's it is the species species of dog family it's strong it has strong build or, or Big fangs, and and and, and uh, I like it. I like this animal because uh, because when I first when I first saw him, I I noticed that he he cho uh, he, he he is uh, he is brave. Uh, he is that. He this animal uh, is brave and bold, and and, and uh, that's why I like it. Good. Let's go on talking about your favorite animal. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what do you need to take care of it? 
uh, I think first the special equipment because it's wild animals and it's uh, it'll be dangerous for people if I take care of him and I think it's too dangerous. Mm. Okay, what's the future trend of this animal? What's the future trend of this animal? Uh, it's I think it's disappearing disappearing animal and we should take care of them and well, there are a lot of stories about wolves uh, there are a lot of uh, fairy tales and and um, Next question. Good. And the last question. What do you think of the illegal hunting uh, of some precious animals such as pandas? I think we we should punish uh, we should punish the breaking news and uh, we should open new uh, parks for only for pandas, we should uh, we should uh, we should open uh, we should open new parks and uh, uh, we shouldn't destroy their natural habitats. Uh, everyone responsible for the risk. I think government and general public should should uh, resolve this problem. Good. Are you over? Yes. So, thank you very much. The exam is okay, so we start our speaking exam, part one. So, I'm going to ask you some general questions. Please listen carefully and answer. Firstly, could you tell me your full name, please? Okay, my full name is Abdulaziz Bakhtia. Okay, so does your name have any special meaning? Yes. From Arabic language, uh, my name means la like a God's slave, and I'm really proud of it. Okay, so is your name important to you? Uh, yes, of course. M I think that any any people mm, thinks that uh, think that uh, his name is really important to him or to her. Good. So now let's talk. Let's talk about your hometown. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me something about your hometown? Well, uh, my uh, hometown is uh, uh, not big, it's a market town. There is a lot of uh, mm, people, uh, more than uh, 20, 100, and uh, actually uh, there is one of the important part of my hometown is that there is a coal uh, miners. Okay, so can you tell me something, or can you tell me some famous landscapes or scenic spots in your hometown? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, near my, mm, in my hometown actually, there is a really mm, uh, picturesque uh, landscape because there is a uh, mountains actually there. There is they. Their uh, highest point is 4,700 seven, uh, uh, 4, meters above the um, sea. Mm -hmm. Good, thank you very much. Let's turn to our speaking part two. So mm -hmm. I'm giving you a topic where you have to describe a newspaper or magazine. Mm -hmm. So you have one minute to prepare and then we'll start talking about it.
Okay. Let's talk. Mm -hmm. A newspaper uh, which I'm going to tell you about called uh, On to Stick Kazakhstan and actually is published in our uh, city and uh, uh, what's uh, my habit for reading is uh, I can uh, well it's uh, mm, reading for me is a really wonderful thing w which uh, uh, which I enjoyed with it because uh, reading uh, has a lot of uh, benefits for example reading also uh, improve your literacy firstly and secondly uh, reading also um, uh, improve your critical thinking skills and you can also uh, you can analyze full information what you read what you read and uh, uh, make some kind of uh, decision or uh, some kind of thoughts about the, any kind of article or um, story. And the uh, um, main difference between uh, newspaper and magazine, I think that newspaper is a more uh, official uh, official um, publish uh, publishment, I think, and whereas magazines. Uh, Actually, it's uh, mm, not uh, uh, not governmental, but also just the gossip stories may be published. And I'll, uh, and I like to say that uh, the format of newspapers are different between magazines. Okay, so let's go on talking about uh, newspapers and magazines. Mm -hmm. So. What do you think the important qualities of a news reporter? Uh, well, uh, mm, the important quality of news, mm, I think that it's, it should be uh, true information, firstly. And uh, secondly, I think that it will be mm, It will be um, some kind of governmental or uh, really concerned about our society or, or our country information. So, what's the function of a report to the society in this case? Uh, the main f uh, function, to my mind, is that to, um, to inform uh, our uh, population um, by the news which Mm, uh, which happening in our country and uh, all over the world. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of books or newspapers or magazines do Kazakhstani adolescents read? Mm, actually, in Kazakhstan, a lot of uh, newspapers which uh, uh, adolescents read. May, uh, firstly, first one is that is uh, the Kazakhstan. I I said, uh, and also Tulibi uh, Tu, mm, for example, and Caravan, uh, uh, and so on. And the last question. With the popularity of internet, do you think newspapers and magazines will disappear? Mm, I don't think so, uh, that magazines will disappear or newspapers, because even um, if if the if magazines uh, will disappear, they actually will uh, have a digital uh, mm, digital ways uh, ways of um, magazines of newspaper. For example, the Russian newspaper Vigoda has the, you know, both uh, kinds like uh, digital on the internet and uh, mm, paper based based. Uh, newspaper too. Good. That's all. Thank you very much.